Upper Tanana is an Alaskan Diné language with no more than 50 fluent speakers. As discussed last time, the language has 59 phonemes, or 85 or more when you remember all those stacking tonal length nasal contrasts. But because so many distinctions are marked on the phonetic level, the phonotactics are simpler than, say, English or Georgian syllables. Most syllables include a simple onset and sometimes a simple coda, but the longest possible syllable has a long vowel or diphthong in a two-consonant coda cluster. Any consonants may fill the onset role, except the voiceless palatal approximate and the voiceless alveolar nasal. No onsets are allowed in the prefix, but never in unmarked stems. Speakers will regularly add an epithetic glottal fricative or stop to words without an onset. No stems are immune, but a minority of prefixes are. As for nuclei, allophony varies heavily between dialects. Because Upper Tanana has such an exceedingly large vowel inventory with nasal, length, and tone distinctions, vowels often realize in many forms. Perhaps the most common allophonic variation occurs when the closed high vowel occurs in closed syllables. In such a context, it opens up a bit to i from e. Codas, of course, aren't required. Many prefixes and incorporated roots lack codas altogether. However, because stems are bimeraic, unmarked stems must have a coda. Only some consonants may end a syllable. The aspirated and unaspirated alveolar and velar stops, the glottal stop at fricative, the lateral fricative and approximate, and the voiced and voiceless palatal approximate and alveolar nasal. Most fricatives and no ejectives or affricates are allowed in the coda position. Some stems also include a glottal stop, which may only follow unaspirated stops, and voiceless approximates and nasals. The bilabial and alveolar nasals demonstrate denasalization in onset positions under certain conditions. As if denasalized nasals weren't confusing enough, the author uses the same symbols for both the nasal and denasalized allophones. I've used the IPA diacritics, although they were not in the original text. From what I could tell, onset nasals denasalize if the word contains a later nasal consonant or vowel. It appears to be a form of long-distance dissimilation, although clearer data and transcription would help form a more accurate hypothesis. These phonological processes are more vividly apparent in the language's highly complicated polysynthetic morphology. I shall discuss the morphophonemics of Upper Tanana next.